So next, uh, just for those that were finishing this up, P of 2x1 oops, minus 3x2 plus x3. That's going to be 2 of x1, e of x1, minus 3 of e of x2 plus 1 of e of x3. Well, those are going to be 3 mu minus 3 mu is 0. So that mean of that equals 0. Now, the variance is a little different. The variance of that whole thing, 2x1 minus 3x2 plus x3, that's going to be the variance of the first one, which is 2 squared times the variance of x1 plus negative 3 squared, or 3 squared is 9 times the variance of the second one, plus 1 times the variance of the third one. So you're going to have 4 plus 9 is 13, plus 1 is 14 delta squared, and the standard deviation is the square root of that. Okay, so last one, it says, find E of x1 minus x2 squared, given that x1 and x2 are independent. I wrote you a little, little hint. That means that E of x1 equals E of x2 equals mu. Okay. So we're going to start off E of x1 minus x2 squared, which is going to be equal to E of x1 squared minus 2 e of x1 times e of x2 plus e of x2 squared. What did you do next? I would do, the easy part would be, what's this equal to? Mu. That's just mu. And if since they're independent, then that would mean this one's also mu. Independent just means is that if one's mu, it's not going to influence the other one. It's just going to be mu as well. Okay? One doesn't affect the other. That's what independent. So we can call them both mu. This is the one that's kind of weird. Anybody see what this is? Use my review sheet if you're not sure. Anybody see it? Remember the variance is equal to e of x squared minus e of x quantity squared. Remember that? So what is this equal to? What is this thing equal to? e of x squared. What's that equal to? The variance of x plus an e of x is just mu. Won't that just be mu squared? And the variance we said was delta squared. So this e of x squared is going to be delta squared plus mu squared minus 2 mu times mu plus what's this e of x2 going to be? Same, delta squared plus mu squared. And does anything great happen? This is 2 mu squared. Anything great happen? Yeah, all the mu's are gone. So you end up with 2 delta squared. And there's your answer. That's what e of x1 minus x2 squared is. Welcome to IB. For the math. They, seems like it wouldn't be a very simple answer, but it does turn out to be pretty simple. Last one. This one's cool because it ties things together. x1, x2, x3 are these variables. This is the normal <coughs> calling 2 mu, 1 eighth is your delta squared. 2, 3 is mu for x2, and this is delta squared. A is mu, 
for x3, and then this b is delta squared, okay? They're saying if y is 2x3 minus 2x2 minus 1, find e of y and variance of y. I think you can do it. Let's do it. Let's do 2x3. What's the mean for x3? Here's x3. What's the mean, a or b? a. And the constant's 2, so can we just call it 2a? <laughs> what will this next one be? Negative 2x2. What's the mean of x2? Uh, nope. Mean of x2. Here's x2. The mean is 3. 2 times 3. And then what's the mean of x1? What do you think, Oliver? Mean of x1? either 2 or 1 eighth. What's that? Because x1 is distributed on a normal distribution where the mu is 2 and the variance is 1 eighth. That's the way they define that notation. And so therefore you're going to get minus x1 1 times 2. You okay with that? So this is going to be 2a minus Eight. You find the variance of y. So for this one, it's going to be 4 times b, because x3, the variance is b, minus 4 times 1 16th, minus 1 squared times 1 eighth. So this one I got was 4b minus, let's see, 2 eighths minus 1 eighth is minus 3 eighths. How many got 4b minus 3 eighths? Am I losing anybody? Going too fast? Do what? I didn't really subtract those, did I? What's wrong with me? Thank you. Thank you. So this will be plus 3 eighths. Okay. And we will finish this as you leave. For tomorrow, just look things over. We're going to spend the first 10 minutes working on these two, three, and four. And then we'll start working on geometric distributions. Have a great day. So E of Y is 0. That's equal to 2A minus 8. So A is equal to 4. And then for this one, we'll have uh, variance is equal to 1, 4B plus 3 eighths. Have a great day. So then you're going to get 4B is equal to 8 eighths minus 3 eighths is 5 eighths. Divided by 4 is 5 thirty seconds is A and B. State the nature of the distribution. What distribution has an expected value of 0 and a variance of 1? Well, they call it the normal distribution. And the reason that is important is because in the last part here, they say find P a normal CDF of going from probability greater than 8 times 5 30 seconds. 8 times 5 30 seconds is the same as 5 fourths, or 1.25. So you go 1.25 comma, let's say 1,000. The mean was 0, and the standard deviation was 1. You just put that into your calculator. And I want to say it's around like 10, 11 percent, somewhere in there. And that is the application of algebra with expected value variance. Don't forget to add positives for your variance.